hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So yeah, I am out on the entranceway today guys because I like the windows and I hope you like this new location too because I'm digging it. I am here to do your love update, right? Hooray! Um, yeah, so Taurus, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. It just means that I didn't pick up on your energy for this reading. That's all. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't for those who need the messages. But if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. It helps us all grow, guys. And um, yeah, thanks also for all your likes, subscribes, donations, comments, shares. Everybody's been fabulous. And if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. Also, I may say things like he and she and his and hers. It's just, um, it's just a human factor. Um, nothing is ever gender specific. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's get started. I feel, Taurus, your person, honestly, this just is popping out at me. This is how your person feels right now, not knowing what to do. It's kind of like a, what have I done? What have I done? Oh my God, what have I done? Kind of feeling, you know what I mean? Hanging their head, their head in their hands with regret not knowing how to fix a situation is really the feeling that I'm getting here. Uh, because you don't trust them anymore. You don't trust this person anymore. And you are like the ultimate to this person. You know? You're every queen in the deck to this person. You're an empress to this person. You're beautiful, magnificent. And you're not wasting your time or playing any more games with this person, you know? They're probably very right about the fact that you don't trust them anymore. And they're very regretful about that, Taurus. Very, very regretful. I mean, this face here pretty much sums up the whole reading on how your person feels. Okay, that right there. Yeah, um, they know this is a soulmate connection. Okay. They know that you guys should be together. This is a very strong, strong, powerful soulmate connection, if not a twin flame soulmate connection, okay? So you, this is probably a past life connection, either way you look at it. And this person can feel it. They, they know that you, you guys sh should have ended up together. I think you had that chance. I do. Um, I'm also feeling that your person is in a third party situation and in the background we've got tower moments coming down. I, I think your person is going to fall apart here <laughs> over you. You know, you transformed. You guys have spent some time apart here and during that time, during that time, you've transformed yourself, Taurus. You know, you've worked on yourself, on your spiritual journey, and on your future and your abundance. And this is butterfly wings. That stands for a transformation. You know, and you're paying attention to you and taking good care of you and just being happy. I also feel like you're very, very stable. I think you've been working on your pentacles. You've been working on building a home, a really good home, you know. Some of you could even be moving and setting up, you know, a new place. You, you know, you're very stable here and grounded. You've taken really, really, really good care of yourself. You know, and I feel like that's been a struggle here. It's been a battle. But you did it. You know, and during that time, during that time, I feel like, you know, this King of Cups, they just didn't tell you or show you how they felt about you at all. I mean, th this person has a lot of love for you. You could be dealing with the water sign. They have a lot of love for you on the inside, Taurus. But the King of Cups doesn't show, doesn't tell. He keeps it a secret. He holds his love back from people. He's kind of wishy-washy. He's got one foot in, one foot out. 
you know that's how this person was and I you just I feel like you don't you're elevated from that from after all of this you're just kind of over that kind of game playing so you're you're saying here you don't want to play any more games and you're focused on you and growing your your own pentacles here you know feel like you're done with the battling oops this goes over here this goes there yeah and you're about to have a new beginning I think you I feel very much too like this is your person also that wants to have a new beginning but I see this also with you Taurus I feel like the passion is starting to come back into your life now remember I feel like it's been a struggle for you I feel like it's been a struggle for you maybe financially or with a home situation and now I feel like you're grounded and you have that under control but it's it was a struggle that's what I'm feeling like there and now I feel like your zest for life is coming back now Taurus it's spring baby look out the window just wherever you are right now stop go to a window and look out the window okay whether it's storming whether it's sunshiny and bright you know what that day is yours and you're seizing it you know you're seizing the day no matter what the weather's like no matter what you got going on because I think your zest for life is back now you're looking at life um, with some excitement you you could be doing some traveling as well maybe even planning a vacation like to maybe even somewhere exotic you know um, but I really feel here like you've you've you found your grounding you found your stability after really really fighting for it after really really you had to fight for it man you know that's what I'm feeling like here and you got it now you're stable you're grounded you're doing great with money right now and and it's it's freeing you a little from that struggle from the last cycle okay financially things are really looking up for you Taurus financially and emotionally you're grounded you're getting stable um, you're getting over some things right and I really feel like you're getting excited again and starting to see life with some passion now from like a whole new set of eyes okay that's kind of what I'm feeling equally though I feel like your person wants a new beginning now um, yeah they see you as as an empress every queen in the deck we've already established that see you right here but look you've been working on yourself that's what I've been saying this journey has been so important for you you know it has been tough it's been really tough you don't reach the Empress status unless you've been through hell Taurus and you've been through hell and got pooped out the other side shiny and bright and glittery <laughs> seriously I hope nobody takes that wrong it was really just a joke but you know when you think about it because the last cycle was really crappy was it not I mean look I'm seeing a battle here this could be competition as well there could be others competing for your attention you know but I'm seeing you f working up to the stability working up to the stability it's taken a lot of effort and look you have you're at a nine of Pentacles now but this is something you've been working at growing becoming independent you know self-sufficient you don't need anyone you're every queen in the deck but it took a lot of work for you that's what you've been doing this whole time you know meanwhile uh, your person's been in a crossroads energy here we'll put these back out here for you just don't want to lose anything you've been in a uh, your person's been in a crossroads energy you know hmm hmm studying everything wondering how they can change this around how they can bring it back around you know but the tool they should have picked up 
was the sword and then they should have picked up this cup. This person I feel needs to cut something out. I feel like they need to cut something out. I, I feel like there's been too many women involved in this situation and because they stayed in stagnancy and may have been manipulative, this situation's come to a freaking end. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. It's come to an end. It's over. And now they want to come in and apologize here. But I still see a possible third party situation. I don't see this person having really, you know, t taken any action on making any decision between two people. I see them still at a crossroads, still in the middle of a decision to make. Not actually cutting anybody out or speaking their truth too many people involved in a situation and them trying to find a way, learn a way, a manipulative way perhaps to change things around in their favor. Because they're seeing you as abundant now and grounded and stable. You know? Perhaps they want to come in and fight for this. But they, I feel like they want a new beginning here too. You know, feel like they're they're passionate about it because they've been watching you flip and then boss up, and in their life is a mess. Look at how grounded you are. It's peaceful. You've got your act together. This is somebody, Taurus. You're somebody who has your shite together. Okay, this person does not. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. They don't have their crap together because they have a third party situation going on. I really feel like this person is still with someone else, but they're thinking about you the whole time. They're focused on you the whole time. You, 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 Taurus. This reading is for you, right? And so that creates a third party situation for your person and they're, they're trapped. I, I feel like this person is uh, in heartbreak. I mean, look at them. Because you don't trust them anymore. And now you're grounded and stable. You know, that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, so since they couldn't make a decision and they stayed stagnant in the crossroads energy, I feel like the divine is now blowing up all these towers. Um, and that's what's blowing all the stuff around this room and messing it up. It's the aftershock from the tower moment this person has had. You know, I think part of the, there's like two towers here. One, two, there may be three. But this, everything's blowing up out here and the divine's doing it. Look at the lightning. And at one of the towers is how stable you actually are, how independent you are and how you don't need them. You may love them, you may want them, but you don't need anybody. Mm-mm. You know, another one is that they want you, but they're stuck in a, in with somebody else. They want to come in as fast as they can, Taurus. You could be dealing with a cancer or um, an air sign. But yeah, they, they want to communicate and they want to have a victory with you. They just want to communicate the right way, I feel. Your person feels very foolish, by the way. And they, they really want to communicate the right way. They know they've got to be smart about it. And they've got to be quick about it. And they've got to take control over the situation to have this brand new cup of love here. To have this new beginning in love with you. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is what your person wants, but this is what your person has to do to get it. They have to deliver truth, and they have to cut something out. That's really what I'm feeling like here. I'm feeling it. I just, um, I know they're watching you, and they want to come in and talk, and have this new beginning. You, they know you're the one who makes them happy, but yeah, they're with someone else right now. I feel like this isn't your energy, Taurus. I feel like they're with a karmic partner, another soulmate. 
and this person is fairly dark energy and they're heavily cloaked so whatever it is that they're doing that's dark they cover it up really well okay but so does your person just not as good as this one I think they're worth a, with a karmic individual I think they're both watching you and trying to hang on to your energy Taurus and you're trying to get out of here so you can have a new beginning like I don't even think you really care um, I think you may be able to feel them like you know watching keeping track of your energy and all but you're really really focused on your own pentacles and truth be told you don't even trust this person anymore I don't think you're paying much attention to these people or your person right now but they because you're already happy with your stability but your person sees you as their happiness not whoever it is that they're with I do however think that this person that they're with is watching you too though I do and I think they're watching your person watch you it's that's what I'm seeing that's what I'm seeing but your person's kicking themselves now because they waited too long for this crap they waited too long so long in fact that they grew a duck dynasty beard and all of this emotion is frozen over these ships can't come in they can't move so that basically this can't move forward because this person took too long in a decision between two people you don't really get to do that you don't get to keep other human beings on hold like that you know they want this new beginning I feel like they know it's a gift I feel like you're the gift you know you're holding this pentacle I feel like you're the gift and I feel like you're being gifted with a brand new beginning and it's gonna be wonderful and they want to take part in it you know but this person they haven't shown you any emotion nothing like I said one foot in one foot out with that king you know but yeah I feel like you know they're feeling very foolish but they want a new beginning they don't want to be I feel like they don't want to be with this karmic partner anymore but I feel like this karmic partner is watching you both your person is watching you and their purse their karmic partner whoever it is that they're with that's this dark energy that person is watching your energy and your person kind of like a hawk from what I see I think your person they definitely have a decision to make in love here anytime I see twos I see choose so I really feel like your person has a decision to make in love they they need to get on that yeah they want to they want a new beginning but they you know there's that decision again they need to communicate their truth they need to cut one of those things out in order to have a new beginning in order to take in a leap of faith they actually need to not hang out in stagnancy they need to they need to communicate and cut something out you know I feel like there's there's an inner battle inner turmoil here with your person I feel like this is inner turmoil here maybe even some competition or something but um, I feel like this person really does want a new beginning here I feel like they want to build uh, oh that's a five yeah I feel an in, inner turmoil I'm seeing the four so I'm like they want to build a solid foundation here with you but there's so much inner turmoil because I, I feel like this person is like low-key afraid to leave this karmic because this karmic person is watching your person and you and you this your person just doesn't know what to do Taurus I think they wish you would trust them again but you don't and, and, and most likely for good reason okay all right yeah your person's in sorrow three of swords this is you know heartbreak betrayal yeah your person is really heartbroken man Taurus 
and I'm seeing this bloody razor blade here on the edge of the tub you know I really hope there you know people are not going to harm themselves that's all I can say I hope there's no one out there who's thinking about harming themselves but I got I gotta say just you know all of that love and emotion just went down the drain with that third party situation and your person is heartbroken just absolutely a mess yeah I really don't like this depiction of the three of swords that's that is absolute sorrow they want to change this around somehow but look at how dark they are I don't think this person is getting any sleep either I think they're spending a lot of alone time not talking they've probably pulled away from pretty much anybody in their life right now spending some time some quiet time so that they can think of a way to fix this situation fix this you know fix this broken heart of mine right yeah somebody fix this I don't know who sings that song but yeah uh, is it Robert Cray I think it's Robert Cray sorry I just heard that um, anyway yeah um, yeah they're trying to they're trying to bring this back around in their favor looking at all the thing all the tools that they have in order to do this and trying to figure out the right way to do it you know yeah valor I, they want a victory in this but they need to be brave you know this is something the valor is something that takes bravery okay so this this person you know they that's kind of the last hump first they need to make a plan then they need to try to grow some some confidence and bravery and courage C courage right courage otherwise they won't have that victory this is what they're trying to figure out a plan though so that they can make this work in their favor what else can you show me here for Taurus Taurus's person what's going on with this yeah they may try to be dramatic they may try to think up some kind of storyline okay um, this is a schmoozer the Prince of Cups he comes in and love bombs you so this could be very dramatic it could be like a movie scene literally okay this is somebody who's planning this now Taurus just so you know they're planning this now all right what I'm gonna do is <laughs> schmooze Taurus right until the end credits yeah you know yeah and really all they're seeing here is the gain but financial gain I'm they're looking at your stability they're looking at your pentacles you know they they may want to schmooze you by sex and pleasure sex and pleasure to try to try to get you to share your pentacles because they they're watching your stability they see you as happiness and everything but I kinda you know I'm not seeing cups out here I'm seeing more pentacles and cups and you're like no 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 you stay back you stay back I'm going I'm moving forward into the um, new cycle you stay back here into with this old cycle you stay back here <laughs> yeah that's what I'm seeing you're moving on you're taking your pentacles you're taking your luxury life or the luxury life you're about to lead Taurus and you know you found peace you're relaxed you're like man I do I have to interrupt my spa day for this for this person and their stories like seriously you've already found peace you you're taking care of yourself you're building your pentacles you've got nothing but gain you are wish fulfillment right now for this person but I think they're looking at your pentacles they're looking at pleasure they're looking at schmoozing you anything to get you to trust them again but they have not gotten out of you know having that decision to make they still have that decision to make 
Yeah, this person is so burdened by this. They could even be going to jail at this point. They may be feeling oppressed. I feel like they are fairly oppressed. They're being watched like a hawk. Like very closely. And they're and this they're whoever the toxic person that they're with right now, they're watching you too. Taurus. They're watching you get a brand new abundant beginning. They're watching your pentacles being handed to you. But that's the whole point. They're watching your pentacles. Two people, not just one. Two. I hope they're not going to be doing something illegal. Something they could go to jail for. Clarify the oppression. Clarify this ten of wands for me, please. This person's very burdened. I, I'm wondering if they're thinking they are. They may be going to jail, Taurus. Because that's a completion card, too. They could be very well be going to jail for something. Clarify. Okay. Um, some kind of power. Power and the lovers. I'm wondering if this was some kind of like business deal thing that they had between them, okay? Um, I feel like it's these two, some kind of business thing that they had between them. Or this could just be a power couple here. I don't know, when it comes to this dark energy, I don't trust it. And going to jail... This has something to do with money, power, and whatever commitment this person was in. I feel like they have something over your person's head that, they, that could send him to jail, that could send your person to jail regarding this power. You know? That could be it too. Sorry. I just was trying to pick up on something there. All right. So let's get, you know, let's get a final outcome for this Taurus. Ooh, sorry. I have to move again. My legs start, start to lock up on me here. Yeah. I feel like your person is going to get knocked down here and they're going to have to make a climb back up, scaling this cliff and come all the way back up. Um, I wonder if this is a person who's going to jail. Either you or your person are being watched. Something about power here, and I wonder if your person's being watched and they're about to go to jail. Taurus? Yeah, and this is going to happen very abruptly, very, very quickly. But this is the tower. Their whole world's going to come crashing down. You're going to hear about it through friends. Or, you know, this could be their person planning and plotting this too. I wonder if they're going to send your person to jail. This could have been over some kind of business deal. Some kind of money power deal between these two. They could have been, um, I don't know, working on something together here. She's been watching everything that he does. Something's going to happen here very, very quickly. And it's going to knock your person all the way down to the bottom. I'm talking rock bottom. This is something that they may even go to jail for. And I think it's a setup by whatever karmic person that they refuse to leave. What did I say? If they don't make a decision, the divine will. This is it. This is how their tower's coming down. Because they, re they refuse to do the right thing. And meanwhile, look at how beautiful and happy and glowing you are. You're not even paying attention to any of this, Taurus. You have no idea this is going on in the background, honey. You know why? Because you've been working on you. You've been growing yourself. You've been 
on a spiritual journey, you've been healing, and you've been working on a project. Some of you could even be pregnant, but that's not for all of you. But you're happy, man. You're happy, Taurus. And meanwhile, your person is going to, they're, they're going to a personal hell. You know, they're going to a personal hell. Fire and brimstone here. Scaling a cliff. Possibly going to jail. Being oppressed. Okay. And meanwhile, you're going to be on a spiritual journey. Um, you're just kind of using your intuition and letting the divine lead you, okay? And it's leading you to your abundance. It's leading you to all over your abundance. And now you're, you're looking at life, like I said, with more excitement and more passion and more love, you know? And it's, you, this is how you are right now after a long struggle in a really crappy cycle you're great you're great your person not so much all right Taurus that's what I've got for you today um, look if it didn't resonate it's okay just it just wasn't for you just take what resonates and leave the rest for those who need the messages but if it did resonate with you guys and you like this video please go ahead and click that like button it won't blow up on you I promise and um, subscribe to the channel and it helps us all grow okay and until next time Taurus take care of you you're doing a really good job at that you're doing a great job at taking care of you, Taurus. You keep going on that, okay? Take care of you, honeys, and peace out.